Here with Coach Adam Miller of Coral Springs Charter. Coach, solid year last year. You guys uh, go to your conference championship game. How do you how do you build off that this year? Uh, for us, the big thing that we did was we took a step back and looked at what was wrong with last year. Why did we fall just short? And we really focused on our weaknesses and around each other. And we discussed them as a staff. We then discussed them with the players. And so we really tried to focus on weaknesses that we had from last year. A lot of it was leadership and character, uh, as well as just the cohesiveness as a team. We really worked on that this past offseason. And we feel we've, we've done what it takes to help put us in the right position for this season. And it's great. It was a nice little rivalry with uh, Calvary Christian, yeah. I would think. I mean, yeah, you guys play them. and. It has. It now, you know, Coach Hosa and Coach Gilreath, Coach Harley, and those guys over there, I'm actually very close with, done a Bible study and things like that with them. So uh, it's a nice little rivalry. We have fun with it. We uh, text each other every once in a while and things like that. So it's it's been fun, and, and having a guy like Coach Hosa and his uh, you know his experience of being at the Division One level, it's, it's been fun to compete against a guy like that. And you have a lot of experience coming back, both sides of the ball, mostly on right. defense, though, yeah, right? Yes, sir, yeah. Well, we have a lot of experience, but we'll be changing schemes this year. We're going to go from a 4-2-5 to a 4-3, and uh, we have uh, Matt Garris has come in and joined us from FIU, so we're excited about that. He's taking over our defense. Our D coordinator moved to California, so uh, we're excited about it on defense, and the experience coming back, these guys have played since their sophomore year, so it's exciting to see them finally be the guys to lead this team. Uh, how do you, we, I'm doing a story on, on, on being an independent program and, and playing in, in this, so it's a Southeastern division. Um, do you like that setup better than, than the state series? Well, I know for us, it's the perfect match. It's the perfect fit. It's uh, with schools that put academics above the athletics, you know, and uh, for us, that's great with our size and where we'd be within the districts compared to where we are in the conference. It's, it's the best move for us, and a lot of people have a negative connotation towards it. For, for me, I say, come watch us play. The coaching these young men are getting within our conference is second to none, as well as we have four guys on our roster right now that have Division One offers, and we sent three guys last year. So it's not like we're not getting recruited. We don't play good football. It's right. great football with great people. And you guys would be what, 5A, 6A? 4A. 4A, okay. So you would be going up against some right, Booker T powerhouses. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, so we're, we're not quite there yet. <laughs> one, of the, one of the other coaches I talked to today just said it's evening the, the playing field a little right. bit. You know, you guys can just go out there and mm -hmm. play your guys and not have to worry about right, exactly. finding yeah. guys. to Exactly. Yeah, that's something we don't do. Our academics at Cold Springs Charter is, is phenomenal, and that's our number one thing with our student athletes. You feel pretty good about the crew you got this year? I do. Yeah. I do. I'm excited about it. I think their cohesiveness this past offseason and a senior retreat we went on, I think it's really built that bond that we need to be successful. All right, Coach. Thanks for the time. Absolutely. Thank you.